Hello. In this short video, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to select your platform type, how to select your target, how to open up a virtual world, how to open up a sample program, and how to load the program to the virtual world. We're assuming that you already have Robot C 3.0 installed on your machine. So let's begin. To start out with, what we have to do is we have to determine what the platform type we're going to be using. In this example, we're going to be using the LEGO Mindstorms, and we're using the LEGO Mindstorms NXT. So we'll select that. The next thing that we have to do is determine what the compiler target is. We can either target a physical robot, or in this case, we're going to be using the virtual world. So we're going to select the virtual worlds. So when we have our uh, target. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select which virtual world we'd want to use. In this case right here, I'm going to go to the Robot C Curriculum Ch Challenge Preview because that is something that is automatically loaded with every version of Robot C 3.0. And then we'll show you uh, another virtual world that you can load. So let's begin. Let's go to open a sample program. And in our sample program, we're going to go with something very, very simple, NXT motor examples. And we're going to select moving forward. The moving forward program automatically opens. And uh, in this case, we're going to turn on motors C and motor B at 100% power for four seconds. And then we're going to stop. So I'm going to hit Robot, Compile and Download Program. And what will happen is this will automatically open up my robot virtual world. And we have uh, two examples that are loaded automatically into Robot C 3.0, the classic table and the grand challenge. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the classic table and I'll begin the activity. So when I open up the activity, my robot will drop down. So I can, in this case right here, I've just grabbed my mouse and I'm using the roller on my mouse to zoom in and out. I can also take a look at a top view. So my robot is sitting right here. Or else I can take and I can pan my robot around. I happen to be holding the left mouse button right now. And that allows me to move from one side to the other. And I can zoom in and out. When it comes time for me to begin to want to run this program, what I'll do is I'll hit the blue arrow and my robot begins. I can stop that at any time. I can restart the program uh, and it will go for four seconds and it will stop. So let's restart that program. I'm just going to this time I'm going to just play it again looking over top of the shoulder. So it'll run for four seconds and then it will stop. Let's close that back up and this time let's check let's select a different virtual world so this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to select Palm Island I will hit I was going to hit F5 but so that you can see it we'll select compile and download program this time Palm Island opens up I've got a series of challenges here I can see what all is in Palm Island if I wanted to by opening up the PDF. And Palm Island is designed to, to give you the opportunity to program robots that move straight, turn, you can use feedback from encoders, touch sensors, sonar sensors, uh, you can, you'll be required to change your speeds. Uh, there's a set of activities. These activities are set up so that uh, you actually have the program if that's what you wanted or you also can do the programming yourself. The initial activities are designed 
only using the motor commands. We don't use any sensors yet. So let's close this. Let's start this first level. Now the other part to this is we happen to be using a robot that uh, we've designed. This robot has all of the same characteristics that you would find with a Lego or a VEX robot. There are encoders built into the wheels. There's a sonar sensor. There's a light sensor. There's a touch sensor. There's a compass sensor built in. In this case right here, let's uh, go to play. Let's hit the play. It'll run for four seconds and it will stop.